Hey everybody, Q RuPaul here from Two Expats Mexico. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a medication that I take in Mexico that I never took in the United States. If you like videos like this one, all I ask you to take the time to hit the like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, you might want to think about subscribing. I've got a lot of videos planned for this channel. Oh, before I go into the musical intro, I just want to apologize that in my last video, the intro was apparently a little loud and I got some complaints. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep it a little quieter today. I'm just going to kind of tone it down. All right. All right. Let's get started. What medication do I take in Mexico that I have never taken in the U.S.? And the answer is a de-parasitic. I've never taken a de-parasitic in the U.S., but I take it twice a year in Mexico. So why? Well, Linda and I moved to Mexico in 2015. We started going to pharmacies, grocery stores like that, and we noticed that de-parasitics for people are sold everywhere. And then we saw television commercials explaining the importance of taking a de-parasitic twice a year. And then as I was reading the morning newspaper online, I would occasionally come across articles, um, often citing a secretary of health in a particular state in Mexico, etc., talking about the importance of taking a de-parasitic. Then we started talking to locals and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, you have to take a de-parasitic. We all do. You got to take care of yourself. You don't know what's laying eggs in you. With so many sources telling me that this was a good idea, we just started taking a deep parasitic. I'm not telling you you should, I'm just saying we do. I wanna show you one of the commercials I'm talking about. This one is for Loxel, a very popular brand of deep parasitic here. La investigación clínica afirma que México podría tener cerca del 70% de infección por parásitos. Okay, I'm gonna stop it right here. Mexico has up to a 70% infection rate for parasites. When I first saw the statistic, and this commercial is not the first place I saw it, it pops up in some of those news articles as well, I had to look into it. And when I did some research, it all points back to 2010. Right in 2010, suddenly everybody is citing the statistic. They're citing it in some academic journals. They're citing it in news articles that up to 70% of Mexicans have parasites. And with that statistic comes advice from the World Health Organization saying that people should take a de-parasitic twice a year. Now, I haven't found the original report that they're all citing, and I have not found that particular piece of advice from the World Health Organization saying that if you're in Mexico, you should take a deep parasitic. Nevertheless, uh, we take one. Oh, and just in case you wanted to see the rest of that commercial, here it is. Infección por parásitos. Únete a la campaña nacional de desparasitación del Oxel. Y en una sola toma, acaba con amibas, lombrices y otros parásitos intestinales. Tomar Loxel es rápido, fácil y muy barato. Parásitos Loxel elimino con Loxel. Loxel. Now talk a little bit about the medications themselves. They typically cost between three and five dollars. It's only one dose per package. It's just one pill you take. The recommendation is that everyone in your household takes the de-parasitic on the same date. And if you have pets, that you also give them a de-parasitic, but one for your pets, not this one. This is for people. That's because this does not prevent parasites. It kills them. And if you take one and it kills all your parasites, but your family member still has parasites, and then they prepare your food, and not to be gross, they didn't clean their hands well enough, might have a little bit of fecal matter on it, and you get parasites again. As far as side effects are concerned, I mean, it's a medication, so people react differently. I can tell you that uh, neither Linda or I have ever had any side effects. It's like taking a baby aspirin. I don't even get an upset stomach, nothing. I wouldn't know I took anything. Well, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Before I check out, I just want to be 100% clear, I am not telling you to take this kind of medication. I'm not even recommending you take this kind of medication. I'm telling you we take this kind of medication and why. So until next time, hasta luego.